So today I want to talk to you about part two of my digestive support series. If you haven't watched the previous one, it's my top five home remedies for digestive support and you can watch it here and it will be in the notes also. This is part two and in part two, what I would like to talk to you about is what can we do to support our digestive system for the long term? What are some of the home remedies that we can do to help us digest better, feel better, detoxify, and have better outcomes? So if this is of interest to you, keep watching. Hello beautiful friends, my name is Monica Paz. I'm a certified nutritionist and a functional nutrition lifestyle practitioner. I'm also the founder of Nourish Functional Nutrition, where I teach you how to get to the root causes of your symptoms and how to use food as medicine. In this channel, I give you all of the tools that I have at my disposal to help you go from confused and frustrated about your health to empowered and excited to take your health to the next level. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe and remember to tap on the bell so that you can get notified when I release a new video. So this is my second part in the series for digestive support. In part two, I would like to talk to you about how to support your digestive system for the long term. What are some things that you can do to heal and to improve your digestion and to prevent those acute episodes? And I'd like to start with bone broth. You can make your own bone broth. This is my favorite brand, Kettle and Fire. Uh, but you could also make bone broth from just beef bones or chicken bones. You put them in your instant pot for about two, three hours. And uh, then you add, uh, make sure that you add some apple cider vinegar. I do have a video on Instagram on this and I will uh, put it in the notes for you. Bone broth is very high in protein. It is also high in collagen and glycine, both of which are nutrients that will help you heal your gut, especially if you have leaky gut. So um, I hope that you will take me up on that, especially if you're not eating anything. If you have had indigestion or stomach upset and don't feel like eating anything, sipping on broth is very soothing. You can add some um, cilantro or some parsley, maybe some vegetables make a puree with some cooked vegetables to help you nourish yourself for a few days as you rest your digestive tract. So it's a great way of resting the digestive tract and also healing it. I also like to use a castor oil pack. This is what I recommend to my clients. It is the Queen of Thrones digestive um, castor oil pack. And the reason I like it is because it's very well contained in its own little package and it's not messy like the ones that you make at home. So uh, it is Queen of Thrones Organic Castor Oil Pack. It comes with the pack and the oil. The oil is packaged in a bottle that is dark and it's also glass, which prevents any leaching of plastics into the oil that you're going to put on your abdomen. So that's very important to make sure that you don't get any plastic material leaching into the oil because that is uh, not something you want to absorb. The castor oil pack, what is really nice about this is that it has this protective backing and the backing serves to keep it clean so that you don't get your clothing soiled. And what's really nice about this is that it has these straps and you can tie it around your waist and walk around with it. You don't even need a heating pad. But if you do decide that you want to have either a heating pad or a water bottle, I recommend a hot water bottle for heating up your castor oil pack or for heating up your belly when you're not feeling well. We In the previous video, which you can see right here, um, it, I talked about ways to alleviate symptoms, immediate symptoms like gas and 
and cramping. And a hot water bottle is a great way to do that. Once you add your uh, essential oils that I discussed in the previous video, you could use uh, heat to make that uh, a little bit more soothing and better. Another way that you can um, ease digestive issues is by doing gentle yoga stretches. I love yoga and I practice yoga all the time. When you do a twist, um, gentle yoga twist, or perhaps uh, crossing your legs and lying on the floor, it could really help that gas move along and help you feel better. And last but not least, I want to recommend that you try some Epsom salts in a bath. So what I do is I have two cups of Epsom salts, which is magnesium sulfate, and one cup of baking soda in a hot bathtub full of hot water. And as hot as you can stand it, go in there for 20 minutes. It will really help release the cramping in your abdomen and it will help uh, in the long term for those pains that you get uh, due to digestive issues. Sometimes your back will hurt. Uh, this is a great way to relax all your muscles and because it has magnesium, magnesium helps with bowel movement. Um, and that's what castor oil will do. The castor oil packs are beneficial because they help support your liver, they help you detoxify and they help you have better bowel movements. So uh, the liver uh, is supported by castor oil and it likes that. So it helps the gallbladder and the liver work better. So I recommend castor oil packs for my clients uh, three to four times a week, depending on how many toxins they have in their bodies. So I hope that you enjoyed these tips. If um, you want to discuss your health issues with me. I'm available for one-on-one -on -one consultations. You can find me at nourishfunctionalnutrition.com. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and family. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and tap on the bell so that you can get notified when I release a new video. Bye-bye everybody. Have a great day.